Mario Kart 8 is being ported over to the Nintendo Switch as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Nintendo didn't even announce this in their presentation for the Nintendo Switch. They left this out entirely. I was actually pretty upset because they already teased Mario Kart 8 in the previous Nintendo Switch reveal trailer, so I wanted to see it. If you're interested in watching footage of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, definitely check it out. There's a link in the description below the video to Nintendo's site on YouTube itself of this video, but there's actually more information here on Nintendo's website about Mario Kart 8 that I want to delve into. So for Mario Kart 8 here, you have a good representation of what this box art will actually look like, as well as any game packaging. So, of course, these will be cartridges. They will sell for 60 US dollars, but that's not the most important part. Look at this image right here. This is a Splatoon character on a new type of cart. So that looks really awesome as well. So there are many different pictures actually here that you can go through. So let's just look at a few of them. So obviously when you jump on your new Splatoon character in the game, they turn into a squid. So that's pretty adorable. We also have new characters, like Dry Bones is making a new appearance. The Feather is back from previous games like Super Nintendo, which is fantastic to see. But let's actually get to more of the information. Race and battle your friends in the definitive version of Mario Kart 8. And that might be true, absolutely, because not many people actually played Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U because not many people owned the Wii U. Hopefully that changes with the Nintendo Switch because this is one of my personal favorite Mario Kart games of all time. So let's just take a look at all this information. Hit the road with the definitive version of Mario Kart 8 and play anytime, anywhere. That's really exciting. Race your friends or battle them in a revised battle mode on new and returning battle courses. Play locally up to four players in 1080p while playing in TV mode. This pretty much confirms, by the way, that docking your Nintendo Switch system will increase the capacity of what the system can actually produce or output on your screen. So 1080p in TV mode, that's confirmed now. Every track from the Wii U version, all of them, including DLC, makes a glorious return. Plus, the Inklings appear as an all new guest characters, along with returning favorites such as King Boo, already confirmed from the other trailer, Dry Bones, and Bowser Jr. That's almost five new characters. I'd call that like four and a half because the Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl are very similar, but that's fantastic. So features, let's go through some of the more important ones here. Pop some balloons in the revamped battle mode, complete with balloon battle and ba bomb blast. That is so important because the battle mode in the Wii U version of Mario Kart 8 is completely broken. There is no battle courses. You had to just simply drive around entire courses trying to find people. It wasn't fun. It didn't work. And I begged and I predicted that Nintendo would port this game over and fix the battle mode. So I'm actually really excited that the battle mode is fixed this time around. Not only that, we get some of the new courses names. New course names. Urchin Underpass and Battle Stadium. I think Battle Stadium was shown off in the new trailer. So you can check that out. Also, though, returning ones, GameCube's Luigi's Mansion and Super Nintendo Battle Course 1 are back. That is fantastic. Luigi's Mansion is not one of my personal favorite courses. I actually personally love the ones from Nintendo 64. I love me some Nintendo 64. So I really wish if they brought back any sort of courses, they bring back the really nice colorful ones from Nintendo 64. Block Fort, anyone? I absolutely love that one. Make it bigger if you need to with 12 characters. But I love that mode. Then it talks about the five characters. This is also new information right here. Players can choose a new smart steering feature, which makes driving and staying on the track easy for novice players and kids, even at 200cc. That is great for kids, especially at that speed, because it's so hard to stay on the course. Most people are falling off all the time, but I don't want that to make the game way too easy. So I'm wondering how they're going to do that with point systems and everything like that, and online. Maybe it'll only be local. We'll see. Three new vehicles have been added, two are even inspired by Splatoon, which you saw in the pictures. So let's just go take a look at that one inspired by Splatoon right here, which looks absolutely fantastic. And this one as well. So there's the two new ones from Splatoon, which look really cool as well. Then you have the new items that are back. So returning items actually. Boo, this item stealing ghost. And then we have Feather, which gives you high jump, but it looks like only in battle mode, and it takes away one of the other person's balloons in battle mode, which is awesome. Player friends in local wireless multiplayer with up to eight players. So you can play eight player local, but it sounds like you need two systems, of course, because here it says there's four player multiplayer 1080p. 
So that's normal for Mario Kart. Four player local, but you can play eight player local wirelessly. However, it says down here up to 12 players. So I'm wondering with all these numbers jumping around, maybe 12 players is online, maybe eight is the most you can do local, and maybe four is the most you can do with one system on TV mode. But all of that's interesting. I just want to note again that this is definitely 1080p on your TV. This is like confirmation that the docking system does do more in the output of your system. So play on the Go handheld mode and play anytime, anywhere. I'm actually incredibly excited for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I can't believe I'm going to spend 60 US dollars to rebuy a Mario Kart that I already have. But I do it all the time with Zelda games, so why not with Mario Kart? This, with all the tracks from Mario Kart 8, with all the DLC, all the characters, the new characters, battle mode being fixed... And hopefully this opens up the audience for Mario Kart 8 because it's such a fantastic game. This is likely going to turn into my personal favorite Mario Kart game of all time. This is turning into Mario Kart All-Stars, by the way, with characters from The Legend of Zelda with Link, from Animal Crossing with Isabel, and also we have Villager, and now Splatoon characters. I'm saying, you know what, let's just bring in Fox. Let's bring in Pikmin. Let's bring in Kirby. Let's bring in Samus from Metroid. Let's just bring all of them in. Let's have more DLC, more tracks. I'm absolutely ready for that. So this is a good, smart way for Nintendo to actually release this game. If they're fixing, basically, what's going on in the game with Battle Mode, I am very excited for it. Adding in some new items like the Feather and also Boo's stealing item. This picture is absolutely awesome. Look at this picture from Nintendo. You have four franchises in Mario Kart here. You have Animal Crossing, Legend of Zelda Splatoon, and Mario Kart. That's fantastic. That's really awesome. I'm excited for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I think Nintendo really should have included this in their presentation, but that just goes to Nintendo. They rarely ever do what everyone predicts. I was upset in my reaction video that's out now or coming out very soon in the next hour or few on YouTube. I really wanted Mario Kart to be talked about. I wanted Smash Bros. to be talked about. If they just talked and showed this Mario Kart trailer, don't even talk about it. Just show the trailer that's on Nintendo's YouTube that they posted right after the presentation. I would have been ecstatic, and that would have made me think that the presentation was just that much better. I don't know why they did that. So this actually gives me hope that maybe Smash Bros., they're just going to drop something maybe in April. By the way, really important that I didn't mention, this is coming out April the 28th. 2017. April 28th. So this is relatively almost two months after launch. So the first month you have Zelda. The second month you have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And then from there you have Splatoon in the summer. You have Mario look forward to Christmas or the holiday season 2017. That's four pretty huge blockbuster games from Nintendo at least in 2017. At least. So that is fantastic. If they're going to port over games, port over this Port over Smash Bros, make everyone happy, add in some new DLC characters, fix what was broken, and then, as a Nintendo fan, I can give my thumbs up to that idea. But, what are your thoughts? Please comment below. What is the, your new personal favorite character, or item, or track? And what are you hopeful for in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Did you enjoy playing it on the Wii U? Did you even get to play it on the Wii U? I would love to hear your opinion as a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all, keep smiling while gaming, and stay tuned for more Nintendo Switch videos on my channel.